Okay. This is Baruch Fleischman, your host, navigator, pilot, lift manager for the Tiguan Elevator Callout. And today, we are sitting on the 17th day of the month of Kislev, which is the sun is in Sagittarius, the moon is in Leo. We are moving along. According to lists, which I'm going to send out, which has come from a, uh, a Rishash sitter, uh, the month of Kislev, uh, we'll see it, we'll be able to talk about it in detail, perhaps, is considered in the calendar of months to be the month of, uh, which refers to te, uh, Teferis. So we're talking about Yaakov, Yaakov's Teferis. It is the left ear of Zerampen. And it is also the name Madma Umad Ben, that we have to take another explanation. But the concept is here that, that we are moving at a tremendous speed through space and we don't recognize it. We are turning and constantly coming back to the place we started. So whether we're turning, the road, the earth is rotating or the the earth is uh, in itself or actually uh, going around the circumference in an orbit around the sun, whatever it is, we're moving at tremendous speed in relationship to other bodies. And so our lives are like that too. They're also moving very fast. And they're going around and around and start over again. Today we're in the Zohar, we're on page Gimel. Uh, we're in the uh, in Parsha Vyeshev, that is in the Mata Pinevash. In the Zohar itself, it's on Daf, uh, Kufai, and Tess on the base. And we're going to begin over here, and I'm just going to read the top part today in one shear, and I hope to be able to make a second shear. Uh, on the Matik Pedavash. The Zohar starts and says, Rabbi Shimon, Amar Rabbi Shimon said, Tochazi, come and see. Ksiv tov yelad miskein v'chochem, it's good. A child, impoverished, but wise. Man yelad miskein. So let's take it apart. What does he mean when he says that it's a child who's also impoverished? Hauk muko, but we've explained this before. The itmar the ihu yetzatov. The child who is the Yetzir Tov, he says that he's also impoverished. About Tov Yelid, but the concept that we also have another word. Tov goes with Yelid too, besides Miskein. So he says, This is what Nar Hayisi Gam Tzachanti. So I was at one time a Nar. Nar, it means a child, but it's a Gematria. It's used a lot in Kabbalah of 320, which is five times the number of Din. I was originally this nar. It's five times din. It's three twenty. So he says, "Gam zaganti the dog who nar the ihu yelled miskein." The list lay megamer megamer klum because it has nothing of its own. That's why it's impoverished. But my ikre nar. So why do we call him a nar? Begin the is lay chad to the sihra because he has the ability to renew himself like the sun. Like the moon, rather. The mischad jachad is constantly going through a cycle round and round. Sometimes it's it's full, which we just passed the full moon, and now it's falling. But it continues to cycle, and as does everything else in the world of what we call the olam fun in the world of wheels. Everything goes around here, comes back to where it started. So it's mischad jachad the tader ihu yelled, but it's also a child, also. The miskein he's a day coming to itmar is a child also because it's continuously renewed and is it is like a, a child. A coming to itmar the amam amaran like we have said the chacham begin the chachma shariyan pay. So why is the chachma? Because chachma rests with it. The melech zake. So then the pasuk had compared this child which is uh, tov yelled miskein the chacham with a melech zake zake. An old king. Who's the old king? Dohu Yet Sahara Kama de Itmar his the Eight Sahara. Why is he called old? That's what we want to see. The Hamin Yoma the Havadale, because in the day that a person is created, Nafik Mismi Msavu Sela Al Mem so that it when the first was creation, his tuma came into the world. The Ihu Kutsil. So he was for there for the meaning that he was there for the very beginning, and he's a fool. Called Archoi Inun. Because everything that he does is something bad. And he goes on, he continues on, and he continues to try to seduce people. 
below Yada de Hizdahara, but he doesn't know how to take a warning. Don't do it. Vihu Asi in Barnash Bitis Fuki Bitis Kufim, and he comes with different kinds of plans, plots, and plans to go after a person. The Gmid Asta alone, in order to make us Tome, to get us off of the path of Kedusha. Moorach Tava the Orach Bisha that changes from the path of goodness to the path of badness. So come and see. Although Akdim in Bar Nash Biyoba the Isilim, so this for reason, this is the reason that the Apes that did this. Why before a person actually develops the Yetzer Tov, his Yetzer Har is already there. Nashah Biyoba the Isilim begin the Hemain Lay. So why is he there right away? When a person just for a in order that you should get used to it and you should believe in it. The Hakad Asi Yetzer Tov, because then what happens is when the Yetzer Tov comes, Lo Yachil Bar Nash the Mehem Nele. Then the bar the the a person who starts getting messages for the Yetzer Tov, he's already committed to the Yetzer Har is who he's accustomed to, and now this sounds uh, doesn't sound right. He doesn't want to believe it. V'dam Be'alei It's like a burden that suddenly got pushed on him. God the Dot the Nina. So like this, we learn like this. Man who Rasha Aram, so who is a naked or a bold faced bad person? Though who man the Achtim la Atana Miloy the Kamei Dina, Ad lo Yese Chavre Mare de Dina. This is like a person that he comes to court first before the judge and he starts to explain to the judge all his side of the case before his opponent comes to court at all. So he said the Kamada Atama, there's a puzzle that he wants to bring in Mishli, Tzadik Rishon Baribo. So the first person who wants to be a Tzadik, he comes right away quickly into the argument before the judge. And he says, uh, so he said, in other words, he pollutes, or what is the right word? He stains the, just as very similar to what's going on in the Trump, uh, the, the Trump uh, 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 trial in, in uh, Congress. So this is like the case of a really bold-faced, bad person. Like you say, So this Aram is, means he is uh, beguiling. He, he uh, presents himself in a... Uh, you can't tell who he is, really. He comes right at you. What does this mean? He comes first. And he dwells with that person. He begins with the person. Before the Yetzir Tov comes, at the age of 13, really, the age of the Yetzir the Tov comes and begins to start dwelling with him and really starts straightening him out. And since he came first and he brought his claims uh, and what the Yetzir Hara needs in the world, he says he brought that to the person first uh, so when they when his opponent comes, the Yehu Yetzatov, which is the Yetzatov, Avish Lay the Bar Nash Bahades, and the then the the person who's in this conflict between them, he's going to see this as being something he doesn't want. Below Yachol the Zakfar Reshe, and as a result of that, he can't lift up his head because he's under the control already of the Yetzahara. Kila Atin Al Kasve Kisve, as if he was overlearned, his shoulders were overburdened. Called Matula, the home with all the burdens of the world are suddenly on him, and he can't get out of it, he can't change. Ginhaku Rasha Aram the Akdimime, because of this bold face Rasha, who came and came first and started up with him before the Yetzah Tov. The Hada Amr Shlomo, and this Shlomo says like this the Chachma Zamiske, the wisdom of the person who is impoverished, the Zuya is made fun of. The vow of Aden the Shmoyim, and what he has to say, we're talking about the Yetzatov, now is not listened to. Again, the whole Achtim Achla, because this is the reason why when you see people, and the majority of Jewish people are on the Derach, and they all, many of them know, well, you know, we should get closer to Torah, but they can't do it. They already committed down the line, which is not healthy. So the same thing is like this. Any time that a judge will will accept the the complaints of one person before his opponent, it's as if he had gotten involved with the believing in idols. 
But let's say you had a situation where his friend is there, his opponent is there, and they start investigating. This is the way of innocent people, of people to prove they're innocent, or to prove their case. Because this is a person, when you had this situation, that they are being judged, that that's the righteous situation. The low heimin haku rasha arum the eight sahara where you don't believe that you don't listen to that bad individual who is the eight sahara this bold faced eight sahara at the eight sechavre before the uh, his opponent the eight setov can come there who is the eight setov begin da benei nasha inun kashlim amud asi because of listening to the eight sahara this is how few people lose their connections with the next world. But let's say that a person who is meritorious and he is afraid of his master, he realizes that there is a din waiting out in front of him. How many different punishments and pains does that person have to bear in this world? Begin to lo because he doesn't listen and he doesn't make any deals with the Yetzahar. And the Kodesh Baruch Hu, because of that, saves him from everything. Uh, uh, and this is what it says, There are many, many bad things that happen to a tzaddik. And from all of them, Hashem saves him. Now it doesn't write, he says, it doesn't write, that there are many bad things for a tzaddik. Lokasiv, it doesn't read it like that. El tzaddik, but gross tzaddik, not to the tzaddik. What's it trying to say? Begin the kudsha berichu Israel be because the kodesh baruch Hu chooses this person. Begin kach kudsha berichu Israel bahaku barnash. So therefore, he chooses this particular person because he believes in him. The shaziv le mikula, he saves him from everything. Bahai alma um alma da asi in this world and in the next. Meritorious and fortunate is his portion. Okay, that's shear number one.